So I want to talk about, review, and discuss the new movie, The Blackening. This movie has an all-black cast, and it surprisingly has a majority of black producers, director, with the exception of one or two producers. But behind the movie's Lionsgate and all those big production companies, so you know it's white money involved. This movie checks off all major boxes in terms of programming that they're now lacing black movies and television with. Interracial dating, homosexuality, negative stereotypes directed at black people. First off, let me start by saying we as black people got to stop accepting a bag to be willing participants in our own pain. You don't see Jewish people acting in movies centered around the Holocaust and making funny light of it or no other group but black people. And we got to stop this. This is why we not take it seriously as a whole, because some of our people make funniness out of our own pain and struggle. So this whole movie was basically centered around a Juneteenth party where old college friends had a reunion. It takes place in the South. And it's also centered around a racist Jim Crow game that all of the friends are forced to play to stay alive. Because if they don't play the game, it's two mass killers lurking around every corner to take them out. With there being a crazy twist to the story. There's another person among their group of friends, the mastermind behind the whole thing. But they don't find this out till later on in the movie. That the whole thing they're going through is basically set up by one of their so-called friends. Black people more times than not are given a bag to show the underbelly of black culture. No other people accept the bag to show the negative aspects of their culture as a collective. And we know every group and culture got negative aspects of their group, but stop showing ours. And black actors that's doing this just accepting the bag, shame on y'all for accepting the bag to portray negative stereotypes about your people. So some of the negative aspects and negative stereotypes in the movie were portraying black women as being hard to get along with and filled with drama. So this is why some black men opt in for having a white wife. Stereotypes of black people loving Kool-Aid, dumping a whole pack of sugar in it, diabetes, but diabetes is true and runs more prevalent among black people. But why joke about this? Again, why take part in your own pain? Shame on this black cast. Another stereotype that was in this movie is that black people are sellouts if they vote for the Republican Party, Donald Trump, etc. Me personally, I don't vote for either party. But why are blacks considered sellouts if they step off the Democratic plantation? OK, so Trump probably is a racist. But so are these big wig companies and organizations that you buy and patronize on the regular. Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad, and Marcus Garvey were all said to have meetings with the Klan to bring about change and things for the black collective. Do I agree with it fully? No. But sometimes you got to remove your emotions from things when you have a bigger agenda to carry out. But the most important aspect of this movie is it shows what some black people would do when they're picked on by other blacks and disassociate with blackness. They'll destroy and bring down the whole thing and everyone around it. Peace.